Good morning. We're going to go ahead and um, get going here. Um, I do the invocation, and we're going to ask if um, Commissioner Sanders will do the pledge. Father, we thank you for this day, God. We thank you for allowing us another opportunity, um, Lord, to to give you praise and glory and honor, God. We thank you for allowing us to be here this morning, God. We we, we ask, God, if you would cover the Adams family um, at the loss of Mr. T.K. Adams, God. Uh, touch his wife, his son, and his family, God, and give them comfort and peace, God. Now, Father, I ask if you would to give us um, your understanding today. Touch our mind and our heart, God, and uh, let us handle the county business as you have us to. In your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. I seek a motion that we um, adopt the agenda, please. Can I get a second? Second. There's a motion by Commissioner Edwards and a second by Commissioner Cowan. Any discussion? All in favor? All, all opposed? Uh, two to two, I'm gonna break the ties with pass. Pass three, two. Thank you. Next on the agenda, um, Patrick, you wanna do it? You want me to do it? Okay. okay. Good morning. So as you are all aware, during the week and last week, um, Ms. Shoemaker and I sent to you all an email outlining our recommendation for the procedures for interviews of the county of the candidates for interim county manager the procedure that we've recommended is that Ms. Shoemaker will conduct the interviews by asking a series of questions that have been uh, written and pr presented to each of you so that they, each of the candidates can answer the same series of questions and you have an opportunity to evaluate them on the same footing if any of you would like questions asked, we had requested that you forward those to uh, Ms. Shoemaker or myself, and uh, we would suggest that that continue. If during the interview, if you would like a specific question asked for that to either myself or Ms. Shoemaker, and we'll take a moment to review the questions and present those, and we will, we're gonna make sure we try to present <clears throat> each candidate the same series of questions. So that's the procedure that we've recommended. At the end of all of the interviews, we will be asking the board to vote, and that appears on the agenda further down, to vote to name one or more finalists for the interim county manager position, and at that time, we can discuss further proceedings. Thank you. With that being said, I seek a motion, please. Can I get a second? It's been motioned by Commissioner Edwards and second by Commissioner. Um, it's been motioned by Commissioner Edwards and second by Commissioner Cowan. Any discussion? Um, Commissioner Sanders. Um, thank you so much, Patrick, for breaking down the process. The issue that I have is that it is restricting commissioners to ask questions to candidates who report to the board. They report to the board, and we have, this is one of the most important non-elected positions in the county. And to have commissioners not to speak freely to these candidates that has to report to us and to make sure that we are making the correct decision. I know there are certain questions that we cannot ask, so we won't be liable. But to be able to have a conversation with the candidate who's supposed to be conversing with us once they're in this a job is ludicrous. 
to say that we have to rely just on our HR director to ask, ask standard questions, not based on their resume they submitted to us, not based on their job or their employment or their, their duties and what they've done in their past employment. That's what an interview process is all about, is getting to know the candidate. So having commissioners who report, who a, who a county manager reports to those commissioners not being able to ask questions and restricting us and keeping us silent, it should never be. We are elected officials in this position and we should be able to ask questions to those candidates that we are putting in place. Any more discussion? Commissioner Henderson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's, it's what I heard from the beginning was, uh, I think uh, Patrick said that him and, and, and the chair uh, interviewed all the candidates. And, and it was my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, it was about uh, 14, 15 candidates? 19. 19, 19 candidates, thank you. 19 candidates. And I had suggested earlier, well, I wanted, and it was really, I guess, turned out to be a suggestion that during that process that we had a Republican and a Democrat to, to ask the question to the candidates. Instead, what we got was a paid attorney and the chairman, and, I, and I, correct me, Patrick, if, if I'm wrong, the uh, county manager serves at the, at the page of the commission. Does he or she? Uh, she, yes, the county manager does serve it. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, we're not in, in the process of the interview, <clears throat> and then if you want to ask some questions concerning uh, to the particular candidates, who's going to be, who's going to be um, supposedly helping you, you're, you're even restricted from even asking, asking those questions. And uh, I guess one final answer, you know what I'm going to ask Patrick Nova did, how much money were you paid to sit in on those 19 interviews? If it's, if it's all right with the Republican board. We conducted uh, six interviews, not 19 interviews. Um, those interviews happened during this, this month and our bills have yet to be completed, but they, the time spent in those interviews will be reflected in our bills. Well, if I may, if in lieu of that, uh, six interviews, how many hours? I think basically paid by the hour. That's right, all of the services we perform are billed by time. Okay, so by the hour. So how many hours, if I may ask? Is that relevant? I'm, uh, hey, I have the floor. May, may I ask my question? Or, 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 or we have a meeting where you can't say anything to me? No, I just asked. I'm just <coughs> yep. responding. Okay, as a commissioner. Oh. Hey, it's out of order if I talk out of order. Yeah, not you. I'm okay. I'm guys, 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 guys. So, but guys, anyway, guys, the question guys, I asked, how many hours? That's I, all I asked. I, I, I could guess probably close to an hour per interview, but I'm, that's, that's a guess. I don't well, remember exactly how much time was spent. And, and this is the boy. You will always say, well, I guess certain amount of this, I guess certain amount of this, you ask for information about how much money we're spending. We never seem to get it. And I, and, I, and I think, what happened to our transparency? And if this is, if that, I mean, maybe the charter should have been, when they changed it, said, well, he just, he should be under the chairman or the, or the county attorney, rather than the board that really have no say at all in who they may cho choose. And then, you know, you know, so I'm just a little frustrated in the fact that here we are once again trying <clears> to get somebody and we, we, get, we got legal advice going out choosing people whom we should interview and we can't say a word to. And to me, they just don't, don't sound right in the real world. I mean, you, I expect all kind of questions in the real world, but I guess this is not the way it's it should be according to song. Guys, I'm calling for the vote. All in favor? Well, if I may, in closing, I just, uh, I don't know, something really wrong. I'm calling for the vote, guys. All in favor? I'm calling for the vote. All in favor? All opposed? I'll break the tie. Thank you. I seek a motion that we move into executive session in order so we can do our interviews. Can I get a second? 
We are interviewing candidates in executive session. I seek a motion that will move into executive session. All in favor? All opposed? I pass the motion. Move to executive session so we can start interviewing. Guys, we have already reconvened, I mean, we have already uh, dismissed from executive session. I need to get a motion that we move back into a regular session, please. It's been motioned by um, Commissioner Henderson and second by Commissioner Sanders. All in favor? It passes four. Oh. Um, Commissioner Henderson had to step out to take a call. Um, I mean, thank you. Commissioner Mason had to step, step out and take a call of a family issue, so he'll be back in in just a second here. Um, but, Patrick, we're going to go ahead and move forward. So it is my understanding, board members, that the motion that you would like to consider is a motion to name Mr. Jarvis R. Sims and Ms. Lucinda Babers as finalists for the position of interim county manager. I seek a motion, please. So moved as stated by the county attorney. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, it's been motioned by um, Commissioner Henderson and second by Commissioner Edwards. Any discussion? All in favor? It passes 4 0. Thank you. Uh, next on the agenda is uh, citizens' comments. This opportunity we let citizens make comments. Um, you have three minutes to do so. Please state your name, your address for the record, please. Citizen comments. You may come at this time. You may come at this time. There you go. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Susan <coughs> Jackson. 110 Wisteria Boulevard, Covington, Georgia. And just for clarification, the motion was that, and my time's starting just to get clarification on the question? Okay, I, I didn't, let me get uh, to, so clarification is that you have voted for two finalists, Jarvis Sims and I didn't catch the other person's name. Hopefully we'll get that name. My opinion, this is what I wanna uh, say, in my opinion, uh, as a board, by no means should you maneuver with this, with uh, any type of dubiousness or ambiguity regarding your selection of a county manager. I believe if it's possible, um, can the public be made aware of the total amount of applicants that we had? Uh, maybe their qualifications, their experience, so we know what pool you had to select from um, there, if we can do that, uh, if the public can be made aware of that, that can be put on the website. I don't know the legalities of that. And also, can the public be made aware of the process of what can and cannot be done in the selection of a county manager? Um, with the scrutiny that we're under as a county, I think it'd be to our benefit to be very transparent and be very clear on our steps and how we're gonna make that decision um, and, and get some um, feedback from the, our community because I, this is what I want to reiterate over and over again to this board and everyone here. Our goal is to build a strong county that's economically strong, high quality, um, and so on, and that requires vision. That doesn't happen by accident. That's something that's purposeful. So as a citizen, I would want someone who is qualified um, on a resume, but not only qualified, but have character, integrity, and honesty, because to be honest with you, there's some folks who have things on their resume, even up here. Your resume may look good, but your character 
is shady and your core values um, are to be questioned. Uh, and so not only do, uh, as a citizen do we want someone who's experienced, who may have done this quote unquote before, but as a community we want to get to the to their core values and because uh, understand anyone you select is going to be under scrutiny by the community and some of the community they don't know the processes they don't know so i think as your job is to inform us as citizens the a the b the c how things are done and to hear our voice when we say that um, it matters who's in this position and we want someone who's qualified, who has experience, and the demeanor, the integrity and character to fulfill the requirements. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyone else? Anyone else? My name is Alicia Brown, 25 Rockwood Court, y'all know. Okay, now I'm here to talk about transparency because that's what you all said this was about, this whole Newton County Transparent Newton One, okay? Transparency is key. We are at a place in history where your character is at stake. From the president, the government, everybody, a lot's going on in the world right now. So, we have a chance to do things right this time. Not, I, I said that wrong, excuse me, strike that. Not right this time, just right. We have a chance to start over with a county manager, get your districts together, you know, on and on and move forward. Let's pick somebody that we can really work with, trust in, you know, character, everything. Not saying that Mr. Lloyd Kerr wasn't. I'm just saying we have the opportunity to start fresh here. We really do. Let's do what we can do. Let's do everything the right way. I suggest, if I could, that we open up the, and I don't even know if we can do this because I, I thought this was for a temporary job. I'm, I wasn't sure rather than a full-time. So I was, I was wondering if I could suggest that we open up internationally, open up the selection internationally <coughs> to, you know, to, to have a selection. I understand that, you know, we d this is temporary, but let's, let's do that. Let's see if we can do that so we can get some good candidates for our county, see if they want to come here, you know, live in Newton County, Ditto what Susan said before me, Ms. Susan Johnson Jackson. Um, I also want to say we, the citizens, continue, continue to, I'm not going to say suffer because I'm not here to bash anybody. Um, I think we've come a long way since I've been coming to these meetings and trying to do my thing and clean the community and push for this and try to do that and help. Um, but I think um, we continue to um, fight, deal with egos on the board, saying words that we shouldn't say to hurt each other, things like that. And it just needs to uh, be, you know, put a stop to it. We need to get better. Um, we need to, you know, kind of Take the egos and, and whatever's going on, take that crap out of there. There's no place for it. We need to learn how to talk with our words and, um, or walk away from a situation. Ask somebody, give me, give me 15 minutes and I'll be right back with you. If you're so upset, if you can't deal with something, there's no cursing, fist flowing, you know, rolling. Out. Let's just walk away for a minute and come back. Thank you, ma'am. Is that it? Yes, ma'am. But can I have one more minute? No, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. Greatly appreciate you. Can I come back again? Um, no, ma'am. I would greatly appreciate you. In, anyone else? No, ma'am, you cannot. Anyone else? No, ma'am.
Denise Williams, 165 Long Creek Drive. I just want to say that this was a very important special call meeting today. We had all of the commissioners here except for District 2 Commissioner. And it seems like to me, if the citizens can get up and be up here on time to hear, to see what's going on, to be informed, I want to know why was our commissioner not here this morning, but as myself and several other people in the community walked over to the admin building this morning and our commissioner was already there. So we put him in this seat to represent district two and that is not representation whatsoever. So can somebody please, you as the chairman, could you please explain why our commissioner was over there when it was a board meeting going on over here? It was a special call meeting. Can you explain that? Well, I'm asked from the public uh, standpoint, I would like that um, answer. If you have to do it by email or I have to pick it up or whatever, but I would like that answer because he is an elected official and he should be at these meetings. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else? Anyone else? Thank you. Yes, ma'am, that's right. Frederick Johnson, 1036 Highway 162, Covington. Uh, let me first uh, thank you commissioners. Same like you did something with the PA system. The last time I was up here, I couldn't hear anything back there. So thank you very much for that. As far as this meeting goes, I was only notified, uh, just having to, somebody just having to call me so they had got a email on it uh, on the agenda on Monday I wasn't able to come but he told me it was going to be Monday then it's, I got the word it was going to be yesterday then finally I got the word it was going to be today but it just it seemed like uh, you know y'all trying to keep things under you, you know head it didn't look like it was out to the public I mean it's a lot of people said that they would have been here if they had known it and why was it so early People have to work, still have a job to go to. And I know you have to do what you had to do, but it looked like you were trying to keep it all a secret and so forth. So next time something like this happened, how about just putting it out to the public, uh, you know, a week or so in advance so people would know exactly what's going on. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Commissioner Edwards. Commissioner Mason. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I would like to address um, what was presented to me. Uh, I do have children, uh, and those children do have to go to school. So it was early for me this morning, and so that was why I was actually late. I was directed to go to uh, the actual administrative building uh, because it had already uh, convened here uh, once I actually got here. So I was directed to do that because I, of my tardiness. And I, I apologize for my tardiness. Um, there are sometimes things that happen that we can't control. Uh, and I don't want to be judged if by some chance one meeting I'm tardy. Uh, it happens. Things happen. Uh, let's learn how to be understanding uh, of each other uh, and not attack each other. Uh, so there was a personal uh, thing that had happened with me this morning with my children that caused me to be late and I was directed to go to the administrative building. So for those who want to know that, I just want to put that out there. Um, I take what I do very, very seriously uh, and, you know, things happen. And so sometimes it may not go the way you want it. I mean, sometimes that we're all late uh, for some things. And so it happens. And so if it means that I need to apologize for that or say that I'm sorry because I did miss that, I don't have a problem with saying my apologies for missing that. But what I uh, 
the main portion of being there to ensure that we have a good uh, county manager. Uh, I was there uh, for that through that entire process and I will continue to be there uh, to ensure, uh, just like Ms. Jackson said, that we have you know, the opportunity to kind of start over and to have a good support staff, a good support manager in this role. So, uh, okay, Ms. Brown, I'm sorry, my apologies. Uh, to have a good person uh, in that role and in that position so that we can help take our county to the next level. So please forgive me, things happen. Uh, my apologies. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Sanders. I just have one announcement along with the historical committee, Newton County Historical Committee of Preservation, African American Preservation, we'll make sure I get that name right. Um, working in conjunction with them, the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, the Black Action Network, I wanna make sure I'm getting them out, Washington Street, um, are putting on the Black History Parade, the first Newton County Black History Parade here in Newton County, the inaugural, which will be fe February 26th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. It'll be special awards, Greek organizations, bands, churches, et cetera, the Miss Juneteenth Queens, and so forth. If you are interested in being in the parade, this year they said that there is no entry fee, the committee, which I'm on, on, the, on the committee with them as, as a volunteer. There is no entry fee to participate. You can go to georgiajuneteenth.com and click on Blackish Parade to register to be a part of the parade. And that's all, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Henderson. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just I'm just so very proud of, of uh, over the years. I think when Juneteenth first came here, I was one of, of the few people who were, who attended it. I think when it was down and off of uh, Jefferson Avenue, then it came from Jefferson, excuse me, Avenue, then in Nelson Heights, and then from Nelson Heights to the um, uh, Trailblazer Park. Me from Trailblazer Park, I think we went over to the American Legion, and we supported over the years. And I was more proud of, you know, when the President of the United States um, made Juneteenth a national holiday. And I'm hoping that since, and even the governor who said that he was going to pay all of the state employees for Juneteenth Day, that we can, as a county, make Juneteenth Day. Juneteenth Day instead of revolving holiday. And so that we can uh, be along with the rest of the country, you know, and, and, and just celebrating good things for good people who have made our country strong over the years and who continue to make our country strong. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Cow. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, first off, let me say the interviews for county manager that I was an HR director for 25 years with the city of Covington. Uh, your HR director with the county did one of the best jobs I've ever seen. Those were the best candidates I have, think I have ever talked to before. And um, the meeting was scheduled to accommodate them. One came from Washington, D.C., one came from Douglas County, and I'm not sure where the other one came from, but I think it was Augusta. Um, the meeting was scheduled like it was to accommodate the times that they could be here and so that we could interview them and, and it was good to have that much time to talk with them. Um, so um, I'm just saying that we've got some good candidates. The two candidates that we have put forth today are very well qualified people. Um, I wouldn't have a problem with either one of them. Um, as far as looking at the backgrounds on the other people, uh, I have not seen those. I just, they have already been pre-screened and we got, we got the cream of the crop, I think, today. Um, very good, solid people. Um, I, I just never seen that kind of, I didn't expect that kind of quality of what we got. And so I thank uh, Amanda for what you did. Uh, I think she did a great job putting that together. Patrick, I think you did a great job. And Mr. Chairman, y'all did a great job. And uh, I was very pleased with the commissioners, uh, their questioning and, and listening and everything. It uh, was a very good meeting. Quick thing, we're working on Spring Hill. 
Park still. I talked with Dwayne Mask the other day regarding our next meeting. And they've got a um, site plan put together. Uh, we're going to have another meeting with the, the group of people that came before. That should be getting out soon, I think. Um, we were trying to, I'm trying to get, hopefully get a county manager on board before we move forward with that, because he's going to have to appropriate. I know the money's already there from SPLOS, but we kind of need somebody to say we're ready to go ahead and do this and spend this. Uh, we can also see if we can save some money with um, some of the grading and um, truck <coughs> dumping and things like that. So I was kind of hoping to get him on board first, or him or her or whoever um, on board first to get that project going. But it's coming soon. I think the dates was in February. It's in February, I believe. Uh, so we're not not too far away from getting that project moving on. So thank you. Thank you. Um, let me just first Ryan stole all of my thunder, but um, I want to say that yeah, you did. Uh, thank Amanda, um, Patrick. Thank you. Um, also thank the the county manager out of Morgan County because he actually helped out a lot as as well. Um, so thank you guys. And the commissioners, commissioners, we, it was an excellent interview. Um, so I don't know who reported out here today, so I'll make sure everybody get that down. It was an excellent interview. Um, I thought they was all great candidates. I thought they was. Um, you can't hire everybody. Uh, you only can get one person. So we'll see who the final person end up being. But um, I'm excited they'll get an opportunity to start to move forward um, in this progress in this process. So again, I don't have anything else. Thank all of you. I seek a motion that we stand adjourned. So, oh, Commissioner um, Henderson made the motion and Commissioner Cowan, I think, second the motion. All in favor? Thank you. Stand adjourned.